Hey, thanks for coming along on uh, a video tour of one of my uh, another one of my new listings. Uh, we're going to 4473 State Route 95. It's just on the east side, just outside the village of Mount Gilead. It uh, backs up to the state park and uh, across from the golf course. Uh, great location. So uh, bear with me a few seconds, and we'll be there soon. Okay, so here we are at 4473 State Route 95. Uh, this uh, updated home is on six tenths of an acre, 150 feet uh, deep, and 177 feet wide. And it has a, uh, a great uh, oversized two, three, maybe even four car garage. We'll go in in a little bit. Let's go inside and check it out. Okay, so here we are at 4473 State Route 95. Uh, beautiful hardwood floors. Uh, this home is uh, just under uh, 1,200 square feet, has two bedrooms and two full baths. It does have a full basement uh, with a little bit of a crawl space area. Sits on uh, six tenths of an acre and backs up to the Mount Gilead Lake State Park. Just a beautiful, beautiful location. Uh, good sized living room here. I'm going to take you on a little uh, quick tour of the home. We came in the front door. We're going to go through the living room and we're going to head on into uh, bedroom number one. Uh, this is what the owners use as the owner's bedroom. Uh, might be a little cramped in here, however, understand that this is a king-size bed. And uh, certainly a queen uh, would afford you a little more a little more space. Large double closet, and it is lighted uh, over there on the other side of the bedroom. And as we pan around, we come into the master bath. This is a master suite with a new freshly updated uh, master bath. Again, hardwood floors, ceramic tile flooring over by the tub. Uh, let me pan around here to the uh, to the vanity uh, with uh, oak cabinetry under the vanity and a solid surface uh, laminate countertop with oak trim. And as we come on into the bath and go around the corner to the left, uh, we see a great uh, jacuzzi uh, brand um, uh, whirlpool tub with uh, ceramic tile surround uh, in the master bath. Okay, let's turn around and head back out through the bedroom and back out to the living room. We'll go kind of quickly. I don't want to take a lot of your time. I know you want to see the home, but you don't want to spend, uh, you know, 10 or 15 minutes looking at it. I'm going to come back out here to the living room uh, and uh, turn around and pan in toward the other end of the house. And you see, uh, again, the uh, pre-finished hardwood tongue and groove flooring, uh, large eating area. They've got a desk over there in the corner for the uh, home computer. And as I pan off to the right, uh, we see the kitchen area, which is open to the dining area. Uh, the kitchen has uh, beautiful hickory uh, cabinets and a solid surface, seamless uh, countertops. All appliances are included, and uh, uh, upgrades include the, uh, the kitchen sink uh, and, uh, and fixtures. Uh, of course, there's a dishwasher and a side-by-side -side refrigerator. Now, as we go toward the uh, back of the house, off the kitchen, uh, we go right past bathroom number two, and bathroom number two here has also been updated recently with a pedestal sink, ceramic tile flooring, and a walk-in shower behind the uh, behind the curtain there. Okay, and we come back out of the bathroom and close that bathroom door, and then walk back into bedroom number two. Right now, uh, they're using bedroom number two as a sitting room, uh, but it is large enough for certainly a twin bed, maybe even a, a double, uh, a regular double size bed. Uh, there's a clothes closet over there in the back of this bedroom. Okay, let's turn around and head back out toward the kitchen. I'm going to take a quick pan. Oh, by the way, there is a, a linen cupboard, uh, or you could use it as pantry, but there's plenty of kitchen cabinets, so that would make a good linen cupboard. And there's a lot more cabinetry over here on this end of the kitchen. As you can see, looking back out toward the, toward the great room. Now we're going to head back outside because I want to show you the exterior of the home uh, and go on into the uh, detached garage. Follow me. Okay, this garage measures 30 by 40. It has uh, insulated garage doors and electric garage door opener on this side. Uh, the back of the garage, the ceiling is all insulated. Um, it's got the fiber board up there on the ceiling, fluorescent lighting, ceiling lights. The back of the garage wall is insulated and there's a room back there. We'll go back there in a second. Uh, but this, uh, this area here probably measures, I'm guessing, about 30 by 30. And then we've got uh, 10 feet in the back. So let's take a walk and uh, take a look in this back room here, see what we got. 
Okay, so this whole area measures about 30 feet across and I'm guessing uh, 10 to 12 feet uh, deep. And again, uh, it's all insulated, it has uh, particle board ceiling uh, insulated up there. And then over here to the left is actually a room that they're using for storage right now, uh, but it is plumbed for a bathroom. It's got uh, water uh, line coming to the room, uh, sewer line coming to the room. Uh, it even has a bathroom vent already hooked in. So if you wanted to have a, a shop out here for, uh, for dad or the boys uh, to work on cars, you could certainly do that. Uh, this room back here uh, can be an office area, uh, it can be a man cave, it'll easily accommodate a pool table or ping pong table and a refrigerator, uh, just a, a great uh, additional living space uh, outdoors. So check out 4473 State Route 95, I'm glad you came to uh, watch the, uh, the video and if you'd like to see this home up close and personal, uh, give me a call anytime at 419-947-4004. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you again.